Okay, so video number two in our Veggie Samurai series. This one, we are going to create our first object. So we are looking to create our carrot because that's what the veggies are. Uh, obviously, we want to hit the carrots and not the bombs. So to do that, I might just clean up my screen a little bit. So I'm just going to get rid of both of these and I'm going to minimize everything except for our objects folder at this point in time. So in our objects folder, we now need to right click on this one and create a new file, a new Python file. Okay, so make sure you select Python file because it means that you can get away with not putting in the um, file extension. So we can just type in carrot and then place that one there. So we need to import a couple of classes here. So we're going to say from game frame import um, room object. Okay, so that's going to be the first thing. And then we're going to create our class, which is going to be carrot and room object. Okay, so from there, um, this, I might just move this down just a touch. So we've got some extra space there. So our carrot class is going to have a couple of different things in it. So first and foremost, we need to set up our constructor. So we're going to say, again, define two underscores and knit. Okay, and then we're going to have self, whoops, just one, uh, room X and Y. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing we sort of did last time where we have room object dot and then run its constructor. So init, and then we're going to have self, room X and Y. Okay, so we're splitting each of those with commas. Okay. Uh, and then from here, this is where we actually want to set up our carrot image so that we can see it. All right, so at least each time we, we load the carrot, we get a picture. So I might just put a quick comment in here, set the image. Okay, and then the carrots image is just carrots underscore image. So we're creating just a quick variable here so that we can refer to this much faster. Self.load underscore image, and then we're going to have carrot dot png okay now again just make sure that you have um, if we open this one up the same spelling and file extension as your file there because if you have say for instance carrot and then parentheses one or brackets one uh, and you just try and refer to carrot it's not going to know where that file is so it cannot select it okay but basically what this uh, little variable is going to do for us by setting it as this other code it just means that we can type carrot image each time we want the image to appear rather than having to search or type self.load image carrot.png each time so it just gives it um, something much easier to set up and it makes our code much more readable and then from there we're going to say self.set underscore image Okay, and we're going to set the image. So in this instance, you can see that the code um, type hint is asking for an image string. So we're going to call it carrot underscore image. So that's where we're using that variable. Okay, and then we want our uh, width and height. Now in this instance, we're going to say 64 by 64. Now I think we downloaded the 60, uh, the 32 pixel image, but that's okay for now. Okay, so that's got that sorted. And then the last thing that we need to do for our carrot just quickly is to open up our init file that's in our objects folder and just say from objects.carrot import carrot. Okay, so again, we're just coming and grabbing this class out of this file here. Okay, um, I guess at this point, what we're gonna do for Veggie Samurai is just maybe pause it there all right, so the next thing that we need to do for our carrot is actually just sit down and set it up so that it is ready to handle mouse events. So obviously what we want to be able to do with this one is so that we click on the carrot and it will sort of continue from there. So the first thing that we're going to do is, uh, I might just quickly comment this. So we're just going to uh, set up a thing that's going to listen for mouse clicks. Okay, so these would normally be known as events. Um, and we're just going to say self.handle underscore mouse events equals true. Okay. And then we need to set up a new class that's going to basically allow us to click on it. Okay. So we're just going to come back and say define clicked. Okay. And then we need our self and our button number. Okay. Um, so what we're looking for there specifically is which button on the mouse uh, has been clicked. So obviously if we want a left click or a right click, we can determine the differences there. So if button number equals one, self.delete 
object self. Okay, so what we're checking here, now you'll notice that it is a double equals. So what we're doing there is checking to see if the value is equal to one, not setting the value like we did up here with the single equals sign. Okay, so um, when we do a clicked function, we are checking to see if the button number was number one. If it is, that's the left click. And then we're saying to it, it should delete itself. Okay, so that's the carrot sort of deleting itself really quickly. And then the next thing we want to do is set up our carrot so it starts moving in a random direction. Okay. All right, so now that we've set up the clicked one here, what we're going to do is just sort of stop this video because then we're going to jump back into our rooms file here uh, so that we are able to very quickly add the carrot to our room and just test a couple of different things. So we'll leave it there and I'll see you in the next video.